uh, one of the things we were really striving to help the uh, medical and the public communities understand is that Alzheimer's dementia is just the last stage of a process which has been going on for many years. Uh, before dementia, uh, we can interrupt symptoms, uh, we can replace missing brain chemicals and help people's memory and attention function better, but we haven't yet been able to blunt the natural history of the progression of the, of the disease. There's a lot of evidence that lifestyle interventions during this latent phase uh, may be helpful. Um, what you do through midlife in terms of your cognitive lifestyle, your aerobic exercise lifestyle, your social uh, connectedness, all play into the success of your brain aging, if you will. I think a great analogy is what happens with HIV and AIDS. If you think about it, when's the last time you heard of someone dying of AIDS? There's just as many people as there always were who are HIV positive. Fewer people are dying of AIDS per se because there's a medicine of it. There's several medicines that people take to prevent the clinical manifestations of the HIV infection. In the same way, Alzheimer's disease processes are pretty common in the population, but they don't necessarily have to lead to dementia. Um, and I think the future is intervention in uh, the latent phase of the disease and the prevention of the emergence of dementia. The national goal is to have an effective prevention or cure by 2025. This is something which is now sort of organically built into the NIH budget.